Welcome back, slide roll fans. Finally, I'm going to do a little bit longer of a video on logarithms. Um, to understand logarithms and um, what they're useful for and why there is a logarithm based 10 scale on your slide roll, which you think you never really are going to have need to use, um, it helps to understand the history of uh, scientific computation. Uh, when Napier invented logarithms, um, his idea was that they would simplify computations, especially multiplication and things like exponentials, uh, square roots. Um, he says, you know, to compute square roots when you have the logarithm, all you need to do now is divide by two, right? So it reduces problems like uh, square roots to things like dividing by two. Uh, now, the C scale runs from one to ten, the C or the D scale, and the L scale runs from zero, uh, again here to zero, but it goes through point, uh, point one, point two, point three, up to, this. you can think of this as 1.0, but on this slide rule it's just reporting uh, the uh, decimal or fractional part, the integer part um, of the logarithm, the, the 1 point something, the 10 point whatever, um, that, that integer part you'll compute using something else, not the, not the scale on the slide rule. Uh, but think of it this way, uh, C and D go from 1 to 10, uh, so 10 to the 0 is 1, so here is 0 on this end of the L scale. 10 to about the point 3 is 2, somewhere in the middle of the scale. And then at the end of the scale, uh, 10 to the 1, or here, 0 1.0 is 10. Okay. Uh, this is what the L scale looks like on a lot of slide rolls with the L. Um, on the base, uh, including this basic uh, reads type slide roll. Um, even simpler Mannheim type slide rolls um, have the L scale on the back. Here is a um, Frederick Post 1447, a very common slide roll uh, made in Japan, uh, bamboo with a celluloid uh, face, metal cursor. This is a very beautiful slide roll, but actually very easy to find and not, not a uncommon item. There's a lot of them out there. Um, and very easy to find in good condition and even with a nice uh, plastic case like this. Uh, one downside of this slide rule is it has um, trigonometry using degrees, minutes, seconds, which is foreign to most people these days. Um, but you have to watch out on a lot of these uh, slide rules which have an indicator for reading on the back. The L scale will read backwards. See how this is reading 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7. So this is actually meant to be used like this. Uh, let's use this indicator. Uh, so let's find the 0 0.3 on this indicator. This is meant to be used in the following way. If I find 0 0.3 there, then underneath the index here on the D scale is the result, 0 0.2. So about 10 to the 0.3 found here on the back is 0.2. And I did that without reversing the slide. I want to use this full-size 10-inch a slide rule so we get a little bit more accuracy for our computations. Okay, let's see how we can compute log with base 10 of 450. The main idea is I use scientific notation, so that's 4.5 times 10 to the 2. The logarithm splits that to log with base 10 of 4.5 plus log with base 10 of 2. Um, sorry, 10 to the 2. Don't believe me. Okay. Of course, log with base 10 of 10 to the 2 is just 2, and then I use the L scale to find that fractional part. So let's do it here. If I find 4.5 on the D scale, then I'm going to move the index to the cursor. Then underneath the window here on the middle scale, which is L, I'll look up the result. That's 6.5, so 6.5, and it's between... Um, 2 and 4, so let's go with 6.653. Okay, so adding together that integer part plus the fractional part, which is called the mantissa, I get 2.653. Okay, now there are some applications of logarithms by themselves, you know, decibel scale, uh, certain things like that, so it is useful sometimes to just compute the logarithm. But let's see uh, one of the original uses of the logarithm, which is to make simple a calculation like this, where I want the fifth root. And we know the fifth root is not something you can easily do on a basic slide roll like this. Um, okay, well that's 450 to the one-fifth power. Okay, 
using um, inverse functions, that's 10 to the log with base 10. Those are inverse functions of the same number, 450 to the 1 -fifth power. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to take the logarithm, do something, and then take the exponential at the end using the L scale for both. Okay, so using the rules for logs, that 1 -fifth can come outside, so it, that should be the log with base 10 of 450 divided by 5. Of course, I already computed that log. Okay, that log is 2.653. So I've reduced the problem right now to computing 10 to the 2.653 over 5. So let's compute 2.5653 divided by 5 on the slide roll. So I'll do all the computations here on the slide roll. So I'm dividing by 5. Of course, you could do that by hand also especially for an integer, uh, an integer power. Okay, and the result there is reading about uh, 5.3, a little off from what I computed before, but let's go with what I computed before, 5.3, and of course, uh, this division is gonna give you 0 0.53. Now, um, 0 0.53, I wanna raise 10 to that power, well, I need to find the 0 0.53, now let's use the other side, on the L scale, uh, so let's see there, I have 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, I flip, I find the index, and I see the result there, 3.123, not 3.4, between uh, 3.38 and 3.4, so we'll go with 3.39. And just like that, I've computed uh, the fifth root of 450. Now, that was a lot of work, right? <laughs> okay. If you have um, the log log scales on your slide roll, you can do that computation with less work. Um, let's do another similar computation. I want to do an arbitrary exponent, so 13.8 to the 4.5. Okay, so I'll do that as um, 10 uh, to the logarithm of this, of course, I've already simplified here, so that's 10 to the 4.5 times the log with base 10 of 13.8. Of course, applying the log rules again, that log base 10 of 13.8 is 1 plus log with base 10 of 1.38. Now finally, that log with base 10 of 1.38 is something I can compute um, using the L scale. So here's 1.3. Uh, 8, found that on the D scale. I'll align the index so I can read the log on the L scale. Be careful. Um, here, so the L scale in the middle here is telling me uh, 0.1, 1, 2, 3, uh, 0.14. Okay, so 0.14 is what I'm getting there on the L scale, and then I'm going to add that 1 to get 1.14 um, as the logarithm of 13.8. Okay, now I need to multiply that logarithm by uh, 4.5. Okay, so let's see. I need 1.14. Let's see, 1.1. 1.14 is there. Um, let's multiply uh, by 4.5. Let's just use regular multiplication. Reading result on the D scale, I get about 5, 1, and it's between 5, 1 and 5, 1, 5. I read before as 5, 1, 3. It's looking more like 5, 1, 2, 5 now, but let's go with 5, 1, 3. Okay, now I have 10 to the 5, 5.13 is the same as this. I've essentially done a change of base here, right? But uh, exponents uh, with base 10, I can compute using the L scale. How do I do that? Well, I separate this into 10 uh, to the 0 0.13 times 10 to the fifth, kind of going back into scientific notation. Um, I'm going to leave that 10 to the fifth in the end. But this 10 to the 0 0.13, this number now between 0 and 1, uh, can be computed using the L scale. So let's find that, 0 0.1, 1, 2, 3, 0 0.13 on the L scale. 
I flip, I find the index, and what I'm reading there at the index is 1.35. So final result here is that 13.8 to the 4.5 is 1.35 times 10 to the fifth. Now let's check that against the calculator. So 13.8 to the um, 4.5. All right, and let's see. I have one, three, five. Those three digits are good, actually, all three. Um, and then 10 to the fifth. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. That looks good also. Um, one thing you can notice now is that this number is so big, it's not on the log-log scale of most um, scientific slide rules. So um, to do this calculation, you're going to have to do either this sort of thing, which I just did, or there are ways you can compute it with the log-log scales, essentially using a similar trick. Um, so I hope now you understand the purpose of the L scale on your slide roll and how to use it.